Okay, um, it's a little video on tool pathing. Um, I've been working with Rhino Script and also with Grasshopper. Um, Chris designed a hub or an idea for a hub, and I've basically taken that idea and uh, extended it a little bit so it, it makes uh, tool pathing quicker. Um, so we've got our ring um, that we need to path setting this orientation um, which is typically how you'd go about building the model um, that being the th through the finger um, but this is no good to um, to mill we need this laying round flat that way so th this orientation but in that window and we need it in this orientation in that window um, <coughs> for the process for that for the rotary and that's for the flip cut um, so you'd have to set each one up or set templates up in Rhino and we need to draw a hub um, and supports and stuff so what we try to do is make that as painless as possible so um, we've got set up in Grasshopper now, Grasshopper's running on another screen um, take this model and import that into Grasshopper as a brett which is basically a click I'm looking at a way of how to automate that but we'll have to see I've not got that far yet um, so what does it do well this is our grasshopper screen at the moment the display is turned off so if we just turn the display on and then just refresh it that gives us this this, this setup uh, it's probably easier if I take that layer away so this is actually a grasshopper now you're looking at um, <coughs> Um, so if we go into this menu, um, it's Rhino's um, remote control panel um, and that gives us lots of different things we can mess with. Um, so if we want more spokes for instance, we can add it, um, that's a bit that Chris did, and you can do hub diameter, and, um, number of spokes, hub thickness, you know. Uh, but then also um, I've got this which is um, a cone uh, for lining up the rotary um, even if you don't use it it's still good to have as a check uh, so we can put that in place uh, um, and you can adjust the size of it as well so we want it just below that width so nothing's poking through there um, and then the length as well you can you can change so we'll go for that uh, and that's it then we're set up then we're good to go so press that button and that creates these tool paths basically that's your rotary and that's your flip cut um, it looks a bit weird because it's sort of put them all on but where it's done it's added these two layers um, that's your rotary and that's your um, not degree or your, your, your flip cut um, so from that um, we press this button and that's basically meshing them now within the macro the mesh settings are adjustable so you can set up whatever you want to import them at um, it's exporting the so opened up um, the rotary I mean test proto uh, and then it's actually opening them up in a template uh, so all you have to do now is create extra um, calculate all tool paths and it's done that for us um, I've got these ones set really um, fine uh, I mean really coarse just to so it calculates quicker for the video uh, and that's it tool pathing done yeah, so that's our flip cut, uh, both sides are done. Uh, and then if we go into, get rid of that, nope. Um, this is our rotary cut then. Again, I'll set up in a template ready to path. Same thing, create tool path, and it'll actually export that into um, a file. You can set up your file destination within Despro. So, it's really good, really quick. So I'm pleased with that. Um, okay, cheers, bye bye.